Hello, Taurus. Welcome. Um, we're doing your weekly reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. This will be for uh, July 1st through the 7th. Let's see what is your situation and what surrounds that situation, immediate future, and best possible outcome. I will be using the Celtic Cross spread. Keep in mind, these are pretty general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. July 1st through the 7th. One more. All right, Taurus, having the courage regarding a move here. Of course, you're trying their strong chemistry, desire. It might be about traveling. It might be an impulse here, a longing. Um, but I feel like you're trying to curb that longing or you have to face something, fortitude. But also, again, drive and chemistry. Mars is in your sign, so you might be, must be feeling it, you know, a lot, especially that drive, that passion, uh, that assertion, the fire. But let's see. The moon, something that has to do with your emotions, hidden, your imagination, opening up, love, the opportunity of love, letting love enter. Let's see. The three of wands. Okay. Fire and fire. I'm telling you, Mars is affecting you. So I like the three of wands as expectations, especially because again, to me, it's like the ships are coming in. You're anticipating some something to come in. I don't know if it's love. I don't know if it is something from a distance or you've been working, you have set your intentions, but the nine of wands, again, there's this kind of energy here, even with the strength card, because nine of wands is spiritual strength, resiliency. You feel like you have to be a little bit on guard. Like you're waiting, expecting, but you have to show determination and resiliency. Like you're protecting something or your heart or a vulnerability here. Or you, you don't want to be seen as weak. So the biggest challenge will be, I have set my goals. I'm waiting. The wheels are in motion. I'm waiting for something to come in. As I'm waiting for this situation to come in, the biggest obstacle challenge is that I have to show resiliency. I have to show strength. I have to be ready and prepared and strong. Even if things right now are a little bit difficult, you're protecting something here that is coming towards you. And you have to like, you know, there's this on guard, ready type of energy. But fire and fire, very passionate, very quick energy, very rapid. Uh, you're on fire. No matter what, again, there's not a challenge with the nine of wands. Whatever is coming in, again, you, you feel like you have to stay there and show flexibility, resiliency, and fortitude, and this spiritual strength, instinct. I feel like you're prepared. All right, so it feels like this is coming in, or something that you have been thinking, peace of mind, recovery. Some of you have gotten from a, out from a difficult situation. It might be news that you have been waiting for. The Four of Swords, we have right now uh, fire and air. So mentally, you're fueled by this fire. This I can see like, a, though it is a Libra energy again, I can see you trying to kind of uh, look at things in a more peaceful way. You have been meditating or you have been recovering. Now it's time for some type of action, see your movement. All right, the King of Cups is coming in. Again, it might be about your emotions, opening your heart, being receptive. You might be connecting with this person. It may be a water sign. It doesn't have to... I'm going to look mostly from your point um, of view here. But again, I love the King of Cups coming in um, here because he's telling me there's a maturity here that has come emotionally. Of course, someone is very open but still in control of their emotions. Receptive, kind, loving. Let's see how this unfolds. Wow, look at you. What do you think is going to happen? I feel like what you're waiting for is the Empress or unconditional love, abundance, nurturing, surrounded by luxury. Venus is in Cancer right now. It is forming this beautiful sextile energy, harmonious, things that you can expect and work and protect. But um, again, Empress is also in this case when it comes to um, 
something that is being produced. It can be very much about family. It can be about work, creativity. But I feel like, again, uh, your heart here is about um, to open towards this person or them towards you. Okay, it's coming. <laughs> News, rapid, fiery, eight of wands. My goodness, that's why you are. I don't know if you feel like it's going to be too fast or how should you act because all messages or communication or things are about to start quickly, swiftly, rapidly here um, towards you. Or again, you're on fire. Nothing can stop you. There's not any more silence here, Taurus. Or this person is coming towards you or the energy that is coming towards you is going to be very exciting. This is Mercury, by the way, in Sagittarius. We have Moon in Sagittarius here. It doesn't have to be a Sagittarius energy, but I, I really like the Eight of Wands because if you have been feeling stuck, this is the moment. Now, that Eight of Wands is part of that Strength card as well, the, the, where we have the Beast and the Maiden, that you have been trying to contain a certain impulse. Well, now it feels like free. Visions here. I feel like, again, once that Send button, you click the Send button, it's like you cannot take this back. But it's good because, again, I feel like you're expecting it. You want this rapid um, movement here. My God, look at you. You have the Empress in your crown chakra and in your attitude or how you see this. You are on the spotlight. You are victorious. You, The attention is on you. The eyes are on you. You feel on, on the top of the world here. Promotions. Uh, it might be, again, you're getting the attention that you want. Spotlight here. Taurus. This is good. Okay. <laughs> Do I? I don't know if I need to like clarify this reading. I really hope that the outcome is good for you guys. Nine of Cups surrounds you, or someone is wishing for you, or you don't understand. You're gonna get all that you have wished for. Everything that you have wished for. This is your blind spot. This is hidden. This is a person as well. External situation. Gold. Everything here is coming with gold. Okay, I really want to see. The King of Swords in your hopes and fears. I don't know if you are um, feeling like, oh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm too open, too emotional here, or too uh, receptive, or you're feeling someone else is going to get in the way with the King of Swords. Because, uh, as I mentioned, in here, you're trying to recover and stay, you know, kind of more of a, not get in too much in the, the drama or situation, whatever is going on. So it might be a fear, or it might be, it might be that you feel like, I need to be logical about this situation. The Hermit. I like the Hermit. Yeah, some of you are letting uh, go of whatever has been this responsibility or oppression. Because the Hermit is finding the star. Finding the light at the end of the tunnel. So whatever is this movement, quick, swift situation. Remember, by the way, guys, that the number nine here, the Nine of Cups, is also part of the Hermit. You are going to get that wish fulfillment. But the hermit is isolating themselves in one situation. It's like, in a way, be like, this is what I'm going to. This is uh, nine and nine, by the way, all part of the hermit. This is my pathway. This is my quest. There's wisdom with all of this fiery energy, especially, again, um, with uh, the strength card that we had before, as I mentioned. What is this impulse? And then we have the other part, the human, the beast and the, the human part here. And how can we integrate? Because again, that beast energy here is our fire, is our passion, is our drive. We cannot avoid it. But how we work with our, within, you know, that wildness that we have. And also when it comes to the gentleness, the wisdom that even with the King of Swords, you're looking at. So finding the silver lining, finding your pathway, finding the star here is what is going to be the outcome of what's coming towards you. But I, I really want to clarify, it's part all of the hermit, it's part of the journey, the pathway, the answer here is coming towards you. But I feel like it's because after this initiation here of all these messages and communication and thoughts on fire, you feel like now I'm realizing here, what do I need to do or where do I need to go? You have been kind of climbing this situation and trying and holding on. You have been carrying, some of you, all the responsibility. The hermit is not holding uh, all the responsibility. It's just wisdom, reflection, just the lantern here to kind of find the pathway. Let's see. I want to clarify, but I feel like 
You are going to be confident enough to know what it is here that you want, what you're wishing for. Um, again, remember, it, I don't know if you're questioning this wish fulfillment because it's telling you this is what surrounds you, what you should be aware of. But let me see. Let me clarify. I really like this reading. I want to see eight and nine. You're almost there to the end of the journey with the eight and nine here. What is uh, the three of wands? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like a journey, the full. For some of you, the four of wands. Or this is, because um, the four of wands, of course, can be engagement, can be a reunion, can be the home here, the foundation that you have been trying to build. So you, you're waiting for the first foundation here of something. But also remember, I said something about not carrying any burdens here. The fool is free of anything. The hermit, as I mentioned, is wise. That's the only thing it's carrying. Wisdom, reflection, but it's looking at a new pathway. So it feels like this has been um, or an engagement or to be with someone here, but you feel like you have to free yourself of any situation here that um, is holding you back. Expecting freedom, relief. A new life, a new era, a new pathway. But when I say a new, again, it's something that you have been waiting for some type of foundation. It's just you don't want to carry any oppression here. Um, it's excitement, guys. It's excitement and a belief that things are coming in. Yeah, that's why maybe you're guarded. Let's see, what is the Nine of Wands? Of course, you know with the Knight of Pentacles that is very uh, Taurus energy. There's something here. I have strong Virgo as well. That whatever you have been doing step by step, I don't know if you're cautious also how much, you know, this will, um, is this practical? Is this sensible? Is it going to be long term? I feel like that's what you kind of are cautious about, especially if you have built something from the past or uh, past here or you have, um, wanted some type of certainty. Remember the Knight of Pentacles only travels the known pathway, but it's telling you that now you have to free yourself mentally here, of whatever holds you back to kind of, you know, uh, move into this direction. What is uh, the Four of Swords, please? I One more. All right, Judgment. Yep, you're waiting here. Okay, I keep uh, getting release, um, purified the moment here. Judgment coming in or a divine moment or a calling here or that aha moment. This is where I'm going. If you guys have been having some type of situation here of attachment, codependency, again, suppression here. Um, you have been trying to, to kind of get out of there and waiting for some type of epiphany, some type of realization. With, again, the hermit, you are going to understand what actually you've been looking for all this time there's going to be um, an epiphany realization and you feel like okay now I can can go towards this person or this journey what is the king of cups please what is the king of cups you see oh my god nine the star, I said you're looking for the star. Yep, and the Ace of Cups again. I feel like I'm reading from the King of Cups point of view, but again, it can be anyone. But this has been to me, or some of you finally are free financially or independent. I keep getting that you feel like you have individually for some of you have to be independent here. Okay, the heart knows what the heart wants. And the King of Cups has matured and has understood really what love means and the opportunity for love and waiting for this. But again, this has been something that or someone was waiting to be free financially or independent to finally reach here, this wish, hope. Or about, you know, something here that fulfills you overall in life or when it comes to a person. But that's what's coming in. I, I feel like I, I, the only thing I have not gotten in there is the Nine of Swords, which... We don't need it. But all these nines, again, our completion, our journeys, our independence, the wish fulfillment, the connect uh, connection here with, you know, the spiritual, the emotional, 
fulfilled in every way. The Nine of Pentacles, physical, material. But it's like reaching for the stars. That's how the King of Cups is coming in. To me, the Nine of Pentacles is Venus in Virgo. It is pre-empress energy. So whatever is this empress that is in your mind, you or your person, it's coming, guys. You've been preparing for this for some time and you've been waiting for things to take off quickly. All right, so what is the Eight of Wands? One more. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Wow, it's the Hermit. Uh, news, by the way. The Page of Wands, um, it feels so instinctive, guys. There's a part here that is telling you to really let this uh, instinct, this fire, this passion rule you at least momentarily because the page of wands feels a little bit awkward here, wants to open up, wants to send a message. I really believe all news or messages or communication or thoughts that are, are coming towards you are going to make you realize again, as because I keep repeating here, what it is here, the, the, the pathway, but it feels like is the hermit is um, the answers that they be that you have been asking for or this person that is reaching out towards you is going to make you reflect what you wanted all along what is the six of wands please what is the six of wands wow all right the four of pentacles the empress you're getting what you want here again you feel desirable you feel wanted you feel abundant um you know that this is a process that is taking place here look we have the nurturing we have the time you're gonna get what you want at least you feel confident that you're going to be victorious for some of you also you have um a good safety net here that's what surrounds you and now you can open up what is this nine of cups please one more okay guys love is coming in if you have gone through disappointment uh, uh, again with uh, eight of cups someone here is realizing what do they need to let go so they can have their wish fulfillment romance actions towards love you guys have gotten the knight of cups a lot i keep thinking here is this proposal is it finally someone going to say i'm taking the necessary steps do you think with the knight of pentacles there needs to be more cautious more practicality here no it's telling you there's this wish fulfillment and it has to do with actions towards love leaving disappointment behind you're going to get what you want here that's what surrounds you and this is again for the ones that have done the recovery have been setting uh, their course here towards the goals resiliency hope have matured emotionally what is the king of swords here in your hopes and fears one more yeah, you guys, or are you dealing with another person here, or you feel mentally you are going, to, remember there's a recovery, a waiting period, confusion here, but I don't know if you are afraid of this king of swords, or this is you, that you feel like you might kind of like, you know, um, going too much by your passion, and you're not thinking clearly here. That's just your fear, the three of swords and three of wands, and the empress, number three. So whatever you're trying to create, you feel like trapped or you feel fearful that's what you have in your hopes and fears yeah. like i'm gonna look at this for a moment because i feel like the ten of wands is coming twice there's going mars energy as i mentioned here there you are with a higher fan prepare that this news you've been doing a lot of research a lot of reflection um taurus you have the wisdom you have the knowledge you will gain knowledge and you'll see here yep some of you with your person or there's going to be like this is what i'm understanding when it comes to love i reflect it or you feel like finally someone is coming in and is kind of bringing the light is bringing here the knowledge 
of a connection here you have with someone or when it, it comes to your soul knowing the decision that you have to make because again i know that not everybody's looking at love reading here for some of you it's about love for others is finding here truly what it is here this decision that your soul understands what is the hermit you see you're going to be aware of it the tools that you always have had the opportunities that all, always you have had you're reflecting and you're bringing them i feel like um to the surface it's going to be a very important um week for you guys because the hermit is a major arcana is going to be an important event and again it's important and rare because you're looking at the star and you're looking at the empress what really truly um fulfills your li life creatively here when it comes to motherhood for some of you when it comes to love when it comes to abundance um your true wish fulfillment you got the empress twice guys <laughs> so you know that's big it's like in the same reading here what what is um you know the, the chances of that so embrace again this news and this um i feel like instinct and passion here because it's going to guide you in the right direction i truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you bye-bye